Can I ask the Minister for Environment, Food and Agriculture what planning enforcement his department has undertaken in respect of registered buildings in the last five years? Call on the Minister to reply, Mr Boot. Thank you, Mr President. The department has received 13 complaints <coughs> in respect to registered buildings within the last five years. All of these were investigated. Five involved no breach of regulations. Three were resolved. That is, conditions were met or works rectified. Five became the subject of applications that were subsequently approved. I am, of course, unable to comment on the individual cases. However, I would like to expand on the situation generally. Building registration is a topic which the government has acknowledged as an important matter through the programme for government. We have now recruited a new officer full-time, and I'm pleased to confirm that we are now making progress with new registrations. We are increasingly becoming aware of buildings which could be at risk, and I can confirm that in the last week the Department served a building preservation notice on a building which we believe to be at risk of demolition and of significant heritage value. We will now work with the owner to assess the situation and agree a way forward. It may well be that the building is not worth saving, in which case we will lift the notice and allow demolition. However, I think it is more likely that the building commences the registration process and we will work together to agree a sustainable future for that building. I know Tim Ward are interested and concerned on all these matters and I hope you will be reassured to hear that we are now making progress. Supplementary, Mrs Kane. Thank you, Mr President, and thank you to the Minister. Um, I notice he didn't give specifics in his response, but can he give any reassurance um, in terms of landmark buildings such as the Castle Mona, where it's been highly publicised that there are um, issues with water ingress in the building, and it is, as I believe, a, a registered building. So can he say what action his department would take um, in terms of previous owner and the also making contact with the new owners? Mr. Boot, to reply. I suspect that the Castle Mona might be a subject to matter for this question. Um, uh, the Castle Mona has gone through a fairly complex process in as much as we thought it had been sold uh, recently and that sale fell through. Uh, we had hoped to, <coughs> to cooperate with the potential owner at that particular board potential owner at that particular stage, but that didn't work. The building has now gone to auction and uh, a new owner will shortly be announced, I'm sure, uh, at which point uh, we have made a commitment that we will contact that owner and we want to put an independent surveyor in there to have a look at the condition of the building. But in terms of what's happened in the past, I think the um, member will be aware that works were carried out at some stage and the department has been proactive uh, with the previous owners over a period of time. Supplementary, Mrs Kane. Thank you. Thank you, Minister, for that. But just in general terms, can I query the point he made about recently putting a building at risk of demolition that was a registered building um, and saying that they will now negotiate with the owner to ensure that, that it is a suitable condition to be restored? Is, is a sort of backdoor way of people getting round a, a registered building to allow a building to deteriorate until it becomes in such a poor condition that it's then demolished? And are there any other buildings that he would fear would be at risk of that on the island, particularly in, in view of um, the Castle Mona? Minister. I, I think the Honourable Member misunderstood my, my earlier statement in as much that the building uh, was identified as one that had possible heritage value and consequently we served the notice to prevent it being demolished uh, so that we could look at the situation and decide whether it had sufficient heritage value to be registered. Um, when buildings are brought to our attention where there may be heritage value, then obviously we will not shy away from serving notices to prevent them being demolished. Um, I'm not aware of that uh, a number of buildings at the moment. Uh, if they are brought to my attention, obviously the Department will deal with them. Honourable Member Message. Thank you, Mr President. Um, can the Minister um, state what his definition of significant heritage value is? because I believe, and I'm sure many members in this court believe that the Castle Mona is, and also can the Minister explain if, it, if a building is, I think the words that he used, may not be able to be saved, 
Sometimes with these old buildings on the island, and I've seen it many times having lived here all my life, sometimes an old historic building will accidentally get a wall damaged by a builder during the process of restoration, and then there's, there's changes that happen. Can his, will he confirm that his department will ensure that, particularly with the Castle Mona, that that cannot happen, and can he put something in place to ensure that there's no accidental damage to the current structure when anything comes forward as a proposal? Mr Boot. Well, the Castle Mona is already a registered building, and any works that take place there will be subject to plan consent, which is the building consent. Uh, when it comes to other buildings, uh, whether they are of heritage value, it's a complex assessment. Um, if you look at a building, it may look to have heritage value, but uh, the department has to do some complex research in terms of looking at uh, who built it, who designed it, what it was used for, and whether it sits culturally <coughs> Uh, with some heritage value uh, in, in, in the landscape, as it were. So it, it's not just simply looking at a building. Uh, the UK, for instance, has gone down the line of registering buildings um, that were built in the 30s and 40s and 60s even as examples of that contemporary period's architecture. I think our definition of heritage buildings sits more with older buildings that are landmark buildings or examples of a certain type of building with some historic heritage value rather than modern examples. Supplementary question, this is Beecroft. Thank you Mr President. Um, the Minister referred to communication with the previous owners and either the communication or enforcement, I can't remember which word he used, um, resulted in works being done on the building. I'm just wondering if you can confirm when that communication was and what works were carried out by the previous owner. Maybe, um, Mr. But we're getting into specific cases here, uh, which is out with the remit of this question. But I leave it to you. It, it is to it. moving outside of the remit. Um, I did answer a question about this some time ago and uh, get specific details. Um, I, I will ask my department to research that question and let you have that. Thank you. Final supplementary message. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, can the Minister is just confirmed that it's a complex assessment that's carried out. Can the Minister circulate to all members what the criteria of that complex assessment is so that we can be reassured going forward with any buildings that perhaps will come into, you know, that we'll become aware of whether they're registered or not. It would be really helpful to know what that complex assessment um, involves and does it include always an engineering report, etc. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, uh, there is no specific uh, uh, procedure for the registration process. I, I did attempt uh, a few months ago to, uh, to simplify the process in as much that we wanted to speed up the registration process to produce a tick list or a checklist, but we haven't got one. Um, at the present, the system relies on the officer, the heritage uh, officer, looking at the building, having had it brought to our attention, doing some basic research. And it, structurally, that's not necessarily of great importance. It's whether the building has heritage value as to whether it's worth registration or not.